In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to upload an image from a form to your web server using PHP. So right now, our form has set up just so that if you typed in an image name, it would add that information to the database. In this case, we want to actually use this to upload the image to the web server and put that information into the database. So we have some modifications to make first of all in our form and then we'll go in and make some changes to the rest of our PHP script to handle the uploading process. So I'm going to start by going into the add by form PHP script and I'm going to collapse these other functions in here just to make it a little easier to have more information displayed on the screen. And we're going to work with the, the form, the print form function here. So what we're focusing on is this part of the form where the image gets uploaded. So right now it's just a standard text input. So to change this, instead of being type equal to text, this is going to be type equals file. And instead of name equals image, I'm going to call this name equals upload. And I'm going to change the size of it just so that it's a little bigger to handle maybe a longer image name. And I'm going to remove the ID on here. But we'll keep that in. We'll just say ID is upload. And we'll also give the user a little bit of information. We'll say put in a line break after it and just say must be less than 512 kilobytes and only JPEGs, GIFs, and PNG files. The other thing that needs to be changed when you're doing a file upload is in the form tag, we need to say that the ENC type is multi-part and it's in form data. So this recognizes that it's going to be for file uploading. So now our form is modified for that. So I'm going to collapse the print form function and we need to make some adjustments in the add data. We're not going to be using the image text field because it's going to be working with a file. So we're not going to pass in the image information here. So we're going to remove this piece and we don't need to clean it either. So when we're getting ready to add the data, right, everything else is running through and being cleaned and then we call the add data function and we're going to include the DB info script to connect to the database still. But one thing we're going to do before then is we're going to call another function to check to see if there is a file in there to upload. So we're going to call a check upload function, which is quite lengthy. So I'm going to copy and paste it in and then again review the code in there. So this is going to check to see if there's an uploaded file. If is set files upload. So upload, this is referring to the form element in our form for upload. So if I come down here and I go back to our print form function, right? We named it upload. That is going to be checking to see if there's a file here in this upload. So if there's something there to be uploaded, then there's a lot of stuff that goes on in here. First of all, we're validating the type. We're specifying, we're creating an array, a list of the different types of image files or file types that are allowed. So there are, you know, ping images, JPEGs, GIF images. So we're saying if this is in the array of the types that are allowed, then we're just going to Put a little print statement in there to say uploading files and then there's a function called move uploaded file the move uploaded file method allows us to move an uploaded file to a new location so when you're uploading a file it's going into a temporary folder once it's in the temporary folder we want to put it into a different location so in our example we're going to move it into the images folder that already exists there. So if it's of the right file type, it's going to upload it to the temporary directory and then move it to the final location where you want the images stored. If there isn't, if it's not the right file type, then we'll output a message for them. 
And then we have some error checking that's going on here. We have a big if with switch statements in here. So if there's an error, these are the standard error cases that you may run into. And then if we move down, no errors, and then it's checking to see if the file is still in temporary folder, then it's going to unlink it, which is deleting it. And then it's going to return image back to where it was called from. So in our add data method, our add data function, this is where it was called to, so it's returning the image back to here and being assigned to image. So let me save this and then I'm going to upload it to the server and we'll test it with uploading an image. Okay, so I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, and now we can see here that by setting the, the type as a file, we get this button automatically in here and no file selected. So we can click here to navigate in. Okay, so I've got a bunch of images here. So I'm just going to upload an image. Okay, so I have some information in here and I will click submit. And it looks like my file upload was successful and my little messages showing up here. And I can also verify that by opening up the files on my server. So if I open up the images folder and refresh it, there is the one JPG that was associated with this particular record. So that is uploading a file. It moves it up to the temporary directory and then moves it into its permanent directory. Then it deletes the file out of the temporary directory and also does some error checking and handling in there in case they don't choose the right type of a file or it's too big or they happen to run into any of the other errors that might occur when trying to upload a file.